Colt Brennan weighed in at 218 pounds, put on a show throwing the ball, and announced he's having surgery Monday to repair some soft tissue damage in his right hip. His recovery time is listed as 8 to 12 weeks. Ryan Grice Mullins ran a 4-3-3-40. Ryan Kilmaka clocked a 4-3-5. And Hercules Satele bench pressed 225 pounds for 40 reps. Offensive coaches have said number four is our guy at running back. That's got to feel good. Oh yeah, it feels real great. But you know, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna slack off and just, you know, you know, just pretend I'm, you know, number one. I still gotta earn it. You know what I mean? So everybody out there working hard. I'm just gonna, you know, just keep, you know, pursuing what I'm doing and just hopefully I just stay at number one. That's UH running back Leon Wright Jackson. He entered spring football number one on the Warriors depth chart and likes the changes that are coming. Offensive coordinator Ron Lee has UH quarterbacks more under center than the shotgun formation that we've all become accustomed to. Explain to us what the difference is from the running back position. Uh, I feel a little bit more comfortable. I feel I feel like I'm back in my natural habitat, put it that way. Um, it's, you know, it's the same thing Coach Lee said. Nothing really ain't going to change. You know, he just he feels it's going to give us a little bit more, you know, more to work with. So, you know, we're working with that, and I'm in love with it. Last season, Wright Jackson was second to Kealoha Polaris, rushing for 219 yards and two touchdowns. He also had 16 receptions for 146 yards. Warriors' new-look offense means more touches for ball carriers. That's what, you know, Coach Lee was just talking about. We need to, you know, we need to do something like that to, you know, keep them on their toes. And, uh, it's going to work. We need to, you know, balance it out a little bit more. You know, just, you know, he said, you know, we got we to gotta find their weaknesses. We can't just keep passing, keep passing. If they're stopping it, we got to, you know, we got to exploit their weaknesses. They're ever going to put a fullback in front of you and straight eye? Uh, we uh, we tease Coach Lee a lot about that. Uh, me and uh, like Jake Hewen, we always mess around. <laughs> Jake's like, let's you know, let's go run power eye. You know, let's pitch right power eye. And Coach Lee laughs. So hopefully we can get him get him to do something like that. <laughs> well, don't be surprised if the Warriors do implement a power running game, maybe in short yardage or goal line situations. And this guy's Alex Gerke, the new running backs coach at UH. Another change, Leon Wright Jackson likes. Hit, boo, hit, boo. And you know we're trying to be all cool and relaxed, and all of a sudden he's like, "No walking!" And they were all running, and you know, get your hands on it, turn it, get your hands on it. So it's, it's a new energy, and you know we're, we're loving it because you know it's going to push us to you know to excel to be the best. Today was an off day. Warriors resume spring practice tomorrow morning at seven. Every team watching, Colt liked what he did for the scouts, which was mainly passing the ball. I felt great, you know. I mean, I was excited that, you know, I was able to continue to progress and gain weight since the combine. Um, you know, obviously, you know, I wasn't able to work out today and do the drills, but came out and threw the ball and um, just wanted to show everybody that, I, you know, I can, I can easily play under center. I can easily do what they ask you to do in the NFL and throw all the footballs. Colt is heavier. He bulked up from 185 to 218 pounds. Keep in mind, while the news comes today, this injury didn't keep him from working out at the NFL Combine last month either. What also worked to his favor, today's passing drills were run by 49ers quarterback coach Ted Tolner, and San Fran is always said to be have interest in Colt. He actually um, believed he could have hidden the injury, but he decided to come clean with it because he said it was just in, uh, in fairness to the NFL to let them know what was going on. And he said um, that, you know, r right now, if, if, if camp were to start, he wouldn't be able to um, be as effective. But he believes by going through the procedure, it would be 100% um, when, um, when training camp starts, and that's one of the randoms the most. So he says it's better to do it now and, um, and be 100% when it counts than, you know, to wait and let it linger. Brennan wasn't the only one representing the Aloha State for Pearl Day. 20 of the 35 were former Warriors. Among the notables were wide receiver Ryan Grice Mullen, Devon Bess, and Jason Rivers, as well as defensive lineman Michael Lafaele. Undoubtedly, the biggest shoes to fill for the Warrior football team is the quarterback spot, but the biggest question at spring ball is just who is the best candidate to fill them, Tyler Grunke or Inoki Funaki? It's definitely friendly competition. He's one of my best friends, and you know I'm just a competitor. I'm gonna fight for the spot, and, and he is too. You know he's, he's a brother to me, and like like all the team, you know. And so he said, you know, healthy competition. And if both of us end up playing, I think that that's, that's gonna be beneficial for the team too. He's got a lot to offer. I told you know like just keep working hard, you know. And it's uh, it's up to the coaches, you know. And I'm gonna keep pushing you, and you keep pushing me. We all push each other. 
Another adjustment for the quarterbacks this upcoming season will be taking the snap from under center. This week, the Warriors are getting their first official taste of Ron Lee's new take on the run and shoot, and so far, players say it won't be an issue. It's different being under there than shotgun, you know. It's a lot more comfortable being back. You can see see everything. We're just experimenting right now because we're going to do a lot of under the center stuff. Coach Lee knows that we can all do shotgun. It's a little bit of an adjustment, but, you know, I was doing it in high school and before high school, and I just got to get back into it. And the steps are a little weird, and, and I got to get my vision down, but it's going to be all right. It's something that on film is probably the most noticeable thing that that we saw that these guys kind of had trouble with. There's some awkwardness. There's um, there's a comfort level in the shotgun, and you kind of get to move forward. You don't you're not really getting away from the center and getting away from the line of scrimmage. So it's something that's going to take some work. Here's how they stack up. Tyler obviously has a longer resume, leading Inoki in yards, touchdowns, and completion percentage. Grunke has made four career starts, including two last season. While Funaki is waiting for his shot at that, he is listed as the number one QB for spring ball, so we'll keep trying. Today isn't a day for practical jokes. It's a day to take care of business. The former Warrior is doing what would equal an interview for the prospective employer, the National Football League. Familiar faces and familiar settings. The only difference for 19 former Warriors, their audience. On Tuesday, the University of Hawaii held their pro timing day in front of more than 50 NFL scouts and coaches. This workout is a chance for us to come out here and kind of showcase our strengths. And, um, you know, I think uh, the guys tested really well. We had a real intense workout set up, and I think that, you know, people could walk away with a lot of respect with what we were trying to do today. At the time, I, I, I thought I had a solid day. Or I definitely knew I could have did better. You know, that's why, you know, I came out here today. I definitely proved myself running faster time so that's you know all what I was aiming for and you know I succeeded my expectations but the day didn't go without its problems as the injury bug bit some of the receivers had they all been hundred percent today I'm sure we would have been oohing and on everybody but we had to fight through adversity and that's life and uh, I think that considering um, you know kind of their their tight tight hamstrings and stuff like that we had a great day the bug even got to Colt as he reveals a torn labrum in his right hip unfortunately I got to get a, a minor arthroscopic surgery that have me out for a couple weeks but um, you know that's just something that's real minor and I know that once I get that surgery I'll be back 100% but Brennan reassures fans all is well and the islands are still in his heart I think we really did a lot of good for ourselves and um, you know we miss Hawaii you know take care Aloha now Brennan suffered the hip injury during a senior bowl practice and rehabilitation usually takes 8 to 12 weeks Grice Mullins and he ran the fastest 40 at 4.33 seconds while Hercules Satelli bench pressed 225 pounds 40 times. The NFL draft is on April 26th. Kind of one thing after another, the, the Sugar Bowl, the Senior Bowl, you know, and even when I do good, it's then nobody really wants to give me praise. But, you know, now that I have this, you know, small minor surgery I got to go through, it's one more th obstacle I got to overcome. I have a real slight tear in my labrum, and, um, you know, it, it needs minor surgery. Colts doctor Mark Philippon has experience with this type of surgery. He performed it on Chiefs running back Priest Holmes prior to his all-pro seasons in Kansas City. Brennan knows he's taken some lumps since the Sugar Bowl with draft analysts, but he says he thinks teams will still take a chance on him. If I had it right now, that means that I'll be full speed 100% in July, and truthfully, camp doesn't start till the end of July. You know, it still can affect my draft status, obviously, but. If, the, if I was already drafted or, you know, I was already on a football team and, and I had this situation injury, it, it wouldn't even make news probably. It, you know, it's that minor of a surgery. You know, you just got to trust that the GMs and the, the coaches know what they're doing and, um, you know, we'll give you a shot. And that's pretty much where we're at right now. Colt still participated in Pro Day today, a private combine where a few guys really excelled. Hercules Satelli bench pressed 225 pounds 40 times while receiver Devon Bess improved his 40 time from a 4.7 to a 4.5 and his vertical leap to 36 inches. Defensive back Ryan Kilmako ran a 4.340 yard dash and Ryan Grice Mullins had the biggest day recording a 4.340 yard dash and was clocked as fast as a 4.27. An improvement from his 4-4 he ran in Indianapolis. That's just been the, you know, kind of the thing on, on me is, is you know, do I have speed? You know, do I have top end speed? And, and it's kind of funny to me because I always laughed about it because I, cause I, I knew, I knew definitely I do have speed. I, I, I thought I could run 4-7 fast and 4-7 backwards, but I mean I'm happy, you know where I'm at. You know, I, I got my 4-4, you know, and that's 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 pretty much all scouts wanted to see.